guys, it's your girl, Just Leave It To Me, on the channel where you can just leave it to me. And if you didn't already know from the title, today we will be trying something a little new. I've been seeing this for a long time and have wanted to try it for a long time, but I finally did it. Today we will be experimenting with peekaboo coloring. And as always, before I get into the video, I gotta tell you where I got this wig from. So today's hair is sponsored by You Nice Hair. They sent me this wig in 10 inches, but I ended up cutting it if you know me you know I love a cut so I ended up cutting it to about eight or six inches the hair was really soft anybody who touched my hair that was the first thing that they said the only thing I had a problem with about this hair it was that it was a little bit too thin for me but because of the style I was going for it worked out as you can see on the inside it comes with the combs and the straps and everything else that you'll need to keep this wig secure so now that we know all of that now let's get into the video so right now I'm just taking up and sectioning off the color that's gonna be on top. So in this case, the purple grayish color that lays on top of the ombre and sectioning that off. We do not want any part of this to touch the color that's gonna be on the bottom. So here are the colors that you'll need to get the same color scheme I had. Adore Sweet Mint. This is going to play as the green you see in my hair. Adore's Jade. Color Charm Paints in yellow and Adore's Platinum. This is going to be the purplish gray that we get on the top. Okay, so I'm not gonna do any talking on this part because there's not much to say. I'm just going to be painting. So I'm gonna let you guys watch me paint. So right now, I'm going to switch the music over to something softer and this will almost be therapeutic. <laughs>
enjoyable to you guys but now we are moving on so unlike the bottom half we're actually going to take the easier route and watercolor the top half Although watercoloring is easier, it's definitely not a one and done. You actually have to dip the hair in the water a couple of times before you get the desired color you're going for. But nevertheless, it's still much easier than traditional dyeing. discovered while doing this is that when you mix the dye with water it doesn't stain the lace so you'll find that when you watercolor sometimes you still have some blonde streaks within your watercoloring and I really didn't want that in the top half so once I was done watercoloring and the watercolor got as much dye as it could onto my hair I went back and started painting the spots that it missed for example the roots like I didn't want to put my wig on and still have have blonde roots so what I did was go back with the dye on the wet hair and as I was brushing it onto the hair it was dyeing the hair but it was not dyeing the lace and that's the number one thing you try to avoid is having any dye touch your lace because it does stain and it doesn't come out so I was super excited to find out that when I mix the water with the dye and put it directly onto the hair it does not stain the lace and it gives me a nice and even color all over dyeing the back I also wasn't able to get all of the blondes out in the ends so I went back and watercolored the ends with yellow as well I also did the water painting thing that I was talking about previously on the ends to get any of the blondes that I may have missed directly and then I let it sit in the water for a little while longer before I washed it all out all together Since I ended up going for a different style at the end of this video, just to give you an idea of how it looked when it all came together. video I really do hope you enjoyed it thanks for joining me in yet another video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until the next time I'll see you then like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe.